how can you stop comparing yourself in this era where everything is about comparisons? It's completely normal. But if it makes you feel bad and it makes you feel stuck, then you gotta stop it. So there are two things, only two simple things that you can do about that. That's what this is all about. Make sure you stay until the end because there's some really important action steps for you. And if you haven't done so already, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that little red button and the little bell right next to it so you don't miss any of my new videos to create the life that you desire. And stopping to compare yourself to others that makes you feel bad is part of that. Let's dive right in and I'll go inside to be away from all of this distraction and noise around me. Who cares what other people think of me? We all tend to compare ourselves to others that seemingly do better than us and then it makes us feel bad. But this implies that you believe that somebody's out there that is better than you. In fact, that is better than you at being you. See, comparing only works when you compare similar things, right? I work with clients and, and I ask them all the time and, and they tell me, oh, you know, he's better and he's so lucky and he's so happy and I'm not and comparing, comparing, comparing. And then I say, okay, is that person you're comparing yourself to an exact copy of you? It must be because you can only compare similar things, right? You'd never compare an apples and oranges because it's not the same. So is there a person out there that is an exact copy of you? Even if it was an identical twin, they grew up with different experiences, different thoughts, different activities. You can't compare them. So why compare yourself to others? There's a quote that says, comparison is the thief of joy. It robs you from joy. I truly believe that. Where's comparison coming from though? I think well, I don't think, I know it's human nature. You know, we are born, we imitate our parents, we imitate our siblings. That's how comparison starts. You do as they do. Then at school, you get your grades back and you're like, hey, I have this. How much do you have? How much do you have? How much do you have? You compare again. In sports, you compete, you compare, you compare your results. It just goes on and on. So it's human nature to compare yourself. And these days, I mean, seriously, looking for my phone. Well, you know, you scroll down social media and you see all these beautiful holidays and houses and, and, and achievements and, and people and the looks and you just scroll down and, and can you honestly do that without comparing yourself? If you say you never compare yourself, then you're a liar. We all do it. I'm guilty of that too. But let's be honest, what you see from others that are seemingly doing better, they are showing their best selves. That's what we do. We always show our best and we hide our mess. That's what happens. But we all have bad days. We're all human beings. Even all of those that you compare yourself to. Social media is actually a way to connect each other. But the reality is that we feel disconnected from reality. The more likes we have, the better we feel. Seriously, is the other person really better than you? We are fooled to believe that others are better than us. We are fooled to believe that the grass is greener on the other side. So enough about comparing yourself and feeling bad about it. What can you do about it? That's the good news. You can do something about it. And I have two words for you. When you're in the state of comparing yourself all the time and other achievements and other people, two words will help you from now on. I want you to shout out two words. Stop it. Stop it. Stop comparing yourself to others and feel bad about it. Okay, how? How do you do that? First of all, hold up a mirror. Hold up a mirror and look at yourself. Look at yourself. 
Look at your unique qualities, your strengths. Who are you? That's the ticket back to reality. There's a quote from Coco Chanel that says, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And I say to you, beauty begins the moment you decide to tell your own story, to live your own life. Stop comparing yourself to others that are seemingly better than you. No, live your own life, live your own story. Start sharing your message and live your dreams and your goals. I have to add that comparing yourself that makes you feel bad is definitely something you have to stop. But comparing yourself to somebody who inspires you, that's a different story. See, if there's somebody out there who has achieved what you want in your life, that's what I do too. I get inspired. I'm like, oh, they have this and I want that too. So I'm going to work at it. I'm going to take action. I'm going to confront fears and I'm going to do that too. I wanted to become an author. I looked at other authors, best-selling authors. I asked questions. How did you do that? How did you, where did you start? What, what's your advice? Now I'm a best-selling author and I have two books. When I wanted to speak on a stage, I, I looked at other speakers thinking, wow, they can do that. And I'm just so shy. How did they do that? And I started researching. I started taking steps and taking action and overcoming fears and asking other speakers, how did you do that? What's your advice? What steps can I take? And I started taking those steps. I became a double TEDx speaker and I'm an international speaker. But I took the steps. I'm growing my business. I'm growing on YouTube. At first, I'm like, oh, how can I do this? But I looked at others and I got inspired and I took steps to improve and improve and improve myself. And that's what I want you to do. Are you going to be either one or one of those people that sit back, look at others seemingly doing so much better or thinking, ah, oh, they have that and I can't. And then you sit back and you do nothing. Or you look at others and you get inspired and you think, wow, they do that. I want that too. And you take action and you take steps towards that. That's how you will grow your confidence, master that skill. So stop comparing yourself if it makes you feel bad. Shout out, stop it. Don't get into the habit of, of believing these foolish comparisons in your brain, in your thoughts, but be inspired and look at your own strengths and your uniqueness and your talents. Your action steps. Number one, what is your biggest takeaway from this video? And what are the two words? Just type them down to stop comparing yourself to others. Number two, make sure you check the free links right below in the description below this video because there's a free PDF guide to help you grow and build your confidence. And there's also a free training if you want to get unstuck and create changes in your life. And finally, number three, make sure you check the video that's popping up right now so you can continue watching and growing your confidence so that you can create the life that you desire, just like I'm creating here while I'm standing in Sydney, Australia. See you in the next video.